today, our last podcast for the year. It's very sad, but uh, we're standing on the red carpet for beautiful Kate at the moment, waiting for the stars to arrive. And uh, what did you do earlier in the week, Andrew? Anything special? <laughs> no. Uh, earlier in the week, I was on the red carpet for Cedar Boys, where I caught up with Rachel Taylor, who is also in Transformers, as well as a couple of the stars. Imagine this has been a long time coming. No, not at all. This one's actually felt quite fast and, and simple, actually. You know, about a year ago, Les and I were sitting at a cafe in Los Angeles talking about this project called Cedar Boys, which he was attached to at the time, and Les and I have been really good mates for a long time, and he mentioned that there was a role in it that I might be interested in because I I really was, um, was looking for a, a project to do back in Australia because I've been working overseas for a little bit, and I, I desperately wanted to come home, and... And I, I believe in Australian film, and I think the Australian film industry is at a at a, at a moment of real watershed, actually. I, I think we're about to, the next phase of Australian filmmaking and Australian filmmakers is, is really upon us now. Have you got more things lined up in Australia? Well, I, I do have another Australian project that I'm hoping to work on. It, it's called Melt, which is a, is a, a project directed by this wonderful young director, um, a female director by the name of Sophia Gollan. Um, and it stars three Australian um, female leads, female actresses, which is quite a rare thing. You, you get to a certain place as an actor where it, it's really nice inhabiting other people's worlds for a while. Like, I'm more than happy to, like, run away from robots, and I'm happy to, like, be in horror movies and ghost movies and all that sort of stuff. But at a certain point as an individual, you kind of realise that it's important to tell your own stories. And, you know, I've had the experience of being a young person living in urban Sydney, you know, and, and that's what Cedar Boys is about, in the same way that Melt is about, you know, growing up as a young Australian woman and trying to break out of a small town. You know, I'm from Tasmania, so that seemed kind of very relevant to me. But it's it's nice to be a, a part of telling your own stories, you know. Well, good luck tonight, and Thank I hope so the film much. goes well. I hope so, too. Thank you so much. Well, we are standing on the red carpet of Beautiful Cape, the last official competition film for this year's Sydney Film Festival. What do you thought? exciting. Oh, everybody who's everybody is here. All the stars. Anybody who's anybody, probably as well. Uh, nobody who's nobody hasn't shown up. It's worked out nicely for the guest list and for the space in the theatre. You done now? Yeah. Okay, excellent. Film. Oh, it's good. Yeah, it's been to one before this for accidents happened, which I had a role in. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this very much. And uh, yeah, it's my fourth film at the festival. I saw the Looking for Eric and uh, and Strength of Water. So loving it. Yeah, it's great. Are you excited about tonight? Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm here to support some great friends, and I'm really excited to see their movies. Have you had a chance to see anything else during the festival? No, I've been jet lagged. Oh, <laughs> come back. Sorry. Yeah, I've, I've, yeah, I have been a little bit jet lagged. So. I hope you enjoy the film tonight. Yeah, yeah, me too. Thank you. Have a good one. Good day, Mr. Garrett. Are you excited about the film tonight? Very excited. We're seeing a renaissance in Australian film. I'm really looking forward to tonight. When you think about the kind of contribution that uh, Rachel has made in front of the camera, it'll be fantastic to see what she can do behind the camera. Both her and Brian are real big contributors to our screen industry. Thompson, how was it seeing your film today, Wake in Fright, for the first time in 30 years? Who was that guy up there, that young fella, going yee-haw? <laughs> I saw it, there was a headline somewhere, uh, 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 what was it, uh, Flash Jack? It was a retro Jack. <laughs> Pretty extraordinary, it's amazing, after 40 years, to be there with a director and a film crew and see the beginning of an Australian film when the excitement ends and the nerves begin, but somewhere in there. Is this the first time you've had a, a strange audience watching a film? Um, what, completely like uh, payers, people who pay to see it, yes, it is, yes. And how do you feel? Are you I feel good, I feel good. It's a great movie, I love it. Um, I feel good, I'm proud of it, so I've got nothing to fear. Wonderful, well, best of luck. Thank you. Well, it's a red carpet special podcast today. We've had Cedar Boys, we've had Beautiful Kate, and now we're here on the awards red carpet. Let's go find out who's won. Oh, well, it's very exciting. He said the low, I should say, meow. The reason he said we kept, yeah. The live action Mindy Award is...
Miracle Fish. <laughs> the Ground Banana. I'm thrilled to announce the winner. Missing Water, directed and produced by Quadro. Congratulations. Foxtel is delighted to sponsor the Australian Documentary Prize for the first time. But we do have a dilemma tonight. The jury has decided that there are two films worthy of the prize. So these two films will have to share the trophy tonight. However, we have decided in celebration of documentary filmmaking in this country to double the prize. They are Contact, directed and produced by Benjamin Dean and Martin Butler. Um, the film that has been selected by the jury of the Sydney Film Prize as best demonstrating the competitive competition's criteria of emotional power and resonance, audacity, cutting edge, courage, and going beyond the usual treatment of its subject matter is Bronson. <laughs> Well, thank you very much for watching the podcast for the Sydney Film Festival 2009. Congratulations to all of the winners from the competition. Thank you very much for all the sponsors. Everyone we spoke to throughout the week, all the directors and cast members, thank you for your time. Sorry, Rachel Corbett couldn't be here to say goodbye, but I'm sure she would if she could be. Uh, do you want to say goodbye? No, thank you. Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you next year. See you next year.